Republicans are now responding to Donald Trump and the FBI raid of Mar-a-Lago. We can see we've got several different clips from a bunch of different representatives, senators, and other individuals, even candidates who are running for office, reaction to the invasion, to the raid by the FBI. Now, as you can see, we've got kind of a nice, diverse group of people here. We've got some candidates, we've got some representatives, we've got some senators, we've got Jim Jordan here, McCarthy, even Chuck Schumer, who's not a Republican, he is a Democrat. He was on with Rachel Maddow, and so we'll get to all of them. Now, most Republicans were pretty outraged about this. Okay, we've seen a lot of, of anger. Kevin McCarthy, for example, is the House Minority Leader, and he posted this. He says, Attorney General Garland, preserve your documents and clear your calendar. He actually was very sort of aggressive pretty quickly after Donald Trump posted his statement. Donald Trump came out, and, and on August 8th, Merrick Garland came out at 6.01 p.m. So he was pretty quick on this. You can see that right down here. And a lot of Republicans have taken, you know, 24 hours. They're sort of just uh, kind of meandering around. They're sitting down with their press team and they're trying to figure out what to do. But this is, this is a good time. You know, this is pretty timely. McCarthy came out right away. He says, I've seen enough. The Department of Justice has reached an intolerable state of weaponized politicization. When Republicans take back the House, we will conduct immediate oversight of this department. Follow the facts and we will leave no stone unturned. He says, Attorney General Garland, preserve your documents and clear your calendar. Right. And this is a pretty common thing. I don't think this is an official preservation letter, but we do send preservation letters. A common example at our office, the r, &R Law Group located in Scottsdale, Arizona, with three case evaluations. We will send letters of preservation to like, for example, a bar. If there's an incident at a bar and you know, everybody is escorted out, you want to preserve the video surveillance footage. You send a letter, preserve it, don't delete it so that you can get access to it. And so he's saying that to the attorney general, uh, we're going to have the House Judiciary Committee. We're going to have the House Senate Committee. And we are going to be inquiring ourselves there, Mary, about what you had uh, done here. And so that's kind of one wing of the Republican Party. Now, we also have a different contingent. We've got the Mitch McConnell contingent, who is you know, sort of like um, sometimes Mitch McConnell gets a hit of cocaine and he's just really animated and uh, aggressive. Other times he's kind of like this. He kind of just sounds like uh, he could really care less about anything. He was asked uh, about this, about the Trump Mar-a-Lago raid. And we've got a uh, 12 seconds of Mitch McConnell. It's not much going on here. What is your reaction? To sorry, that? sorry about those eardrums. Let's lower this volume here. I'm here today to talk about uh, the flood and the recovery from the flood. Sir, you were in Western Kentucky. In December. Anything else? Uh, Mitch, you're like the lead senator of the country for the Republicans. Can you answer anything about Trump? I'm here today to talk about uh, the flood and the recovery from the flood. Okay. Sir, you were in okay. So um, not, not too much out of Mitch McConnell. Uh, all right. He's kind of, I'm here to talk about the flood. Trump's on his own. I don't give a crap. I, plus, I think Trump's kind of a jerk is, you know, sort of how he feels. And it's that it's that beautiful schadenfreude. You know, you know, it's the seeing your neighbor fall off his roof is kind of the happiest thing in the world for some people. They just sit there and they just wait for it all day. Their lives are so miserable. And McConnell's kind of one of these, you know, people like Lindsey Graham is probably another one. There's a lot of guys who will would be just be doing cartwheels if Trump never stepped into the political arena ever again. And that's Mitch McConnell and that contingent. You know, I think like Ducey is going to be a part of it. Mike Pence came out with like a just, a, you know, like a, an obligatory statement. He's just like, ugh, I've got a lot of questions. And a lot of Republicans are in that. Uh, I want answers contingent. Oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm just waiting for the facts to come out. I'm waiting for the search warrant to come out. I can't wait to see what's in it. You know, we should reserve judgment. Uh, no, right. Let's, let's go ahead and, and demand judgment. Let's get answers right now because it is due. This wait and see crap, enough of that. We, they're going to do unprecedented actions. They've got to communicate with us to justify their behavior. They don't get the benefit of good faith anymore. We've already attempted that. And we've seen what they've done with the FBI. We see what they did with Michael Sussman. We see what they did with Carter Page. We've seen what they've done with the Nasser investigation and the Olympic girls and the list goes on and on. FBI is corrupt and incompetent. They still haven't found the pipe bomber from January 6th for crying out loud. 
So we've got these two contingents, and we know McConnell's going to just sort of, you know, flop over like a turtle. McCarthy's going to institute an investigation. Now let's see what one of the Democrats has to say. This is Chuck Schumer, and he's on with Rachel Maddow, who I thought was like MIA or something. I, I think they had her on a milk carton somewhere. But apparently she's back in the studio and she's got some plans, you know, for something or other. But they asked this guy, Chuck Schumer, who usually loves to rant and rage about Donald Trump, right? This guy's out here. He's saying, you know, there's a whirlwind for you, Kavanaugh. And he absolutely hates Donald Trump, right? Every moment he gets to smear him, he takes it. But he didn't do it last night. Very interesting. He's on with Rachel Maddow and she says, hey, uh, here's your opportunity, Chuck. You can get out here and talk about what a monster Donald Trump is. The floor is yours and watch what he does. It's news from South Florida tonight that the FBI has has searched the home of the former president. Yeah, well, I know nothing about it other than what I've read, like everybody else. So I think it's wise for me to withhold comment until we learn more. What? I appreciate that. Uh, it's wise for you to withhold comment. Uh, and listen, look at Ra look at Rachel. She's like, what? Hold comment until we learn more. I appreciate that. I do have to tell you that one of your um, not colleagues, but another congressional leader, the uh, House Republican leader, Kevin McCarthy. We just read his statement. Just made a statement online. He said he's going to um, come for you. About the FBI search for executing the search warrant at the former president's home. Um, he said when Republicans take back the House, they will conduct immediate oversight of this department. And then he says this, quote, Attorney General Garland, preserve your documents and clear your calendar. That's right, buddy boy. Threatening Attorney General Garland. Threatening Attorney General Garland is what Mayor, is what Maddow said. That's a threat to him. Preserve your records. He's a member of government. Congress has proper legislative oversight over the executive branch. They have the power of the purse. They get to have their stupid committees and call people in there. What is she talking about threatening? And uh, in response to the FBI having executed this search warrant tonight. I know that you don't want to talk about the substance of the matter at yeah. Mar-a-Lago, but I do want to ask your reaction to what Mr. McCarthy has Look, said. Look, I think we don't, none of us know the facts and any comments are premature. Any comments are premature. And did you see Rachel? She's like, oh gosh, she's like this guy. What a loser. She's like, I have six more minutes to kill in this segment, Chuck, you know, and I'd love to get your opinion on it, but he doesn't have answers. Look, said. I think we don't. None of us know the facts and any comments are premature. OK, OK, Rachel, Matt. OK, well, thanks for nothing there, Chuck. So. All right. So you can see he doesn't even want to talk about it. He's probably like, uh oh, I better be very careful here. I don't even know what the heck happened. He's probably a little bit nervous, too, because he knows when the Republicans get back in. Tr I didn't have anything to do with it. I didn't I didn't investigate Trump. I love Trump. I'm team Trump, in fact. Chuck Schumer in 2025 is going to be Team Trump. Oh, no, I, I thought what they did was very shocking and very inappropriate. So he doesn't want anything to do with it. Now, Jim Jordan, also somebody in the, um, uh, you know, highly sort of active in the Republican Party, very, uh, you know, effective, I'd say. Here he is responding to this as well. Here he is with uh, Laura Ingram from Fox News last night. A lot of reaction today. Uh, Republicans uh, yep. promise a lot of accountability. Uh, but a lot of times we're disappointed. Is that going to change now? Uh, all the time, Laura. Not not sometimes. It is like going to change, and time. I appreciate the leader's statement, and that's exactly what needs to happen. But even before that, this Friday, we're going back to vote on this stupid bill that the Democrats passed out of the Senate yesterday. So we will be there all day Friday. I'll be in Thursday night. Merrick Garland, Chris Ray, come to the House Judiciary Committee this Friday and answer our questions about this action today, which has never happened in American history. What was on the warrant? What were you really doing? What were you looking for? Why not talk to President Trump? and have him give the information you're after. This is unbelievable. And understand the history here. One year ago, it was the, the Merrick Garland using the Patriot Act against parents. One day ago, it was 87,000 agents in a bill the Democrats passed to go harass Americans from the IRS. And today, we have the raid of a former president's home in America. So heck, we, we deserve answers now. And this Friday would be a good time. Jerry Nadler, call up Christopher Ray, call up Merrick Garland, bring him in front of the House Judiciary Committee so we can ask him the questions that the American people deserve answers to. That's a pretty good line. I like that. You know, two years ago, two days ago, one year ago, one day ago, one month ago. I like that. Well done there. So Jim Jordan, and I've seen some people saying, yeah, you know, Jim Jordan will actually, Hiker 7 over on Rumble says, uh, put Jordan in charge. Okay, McCarthy's going to make a bunch of noise, but he'll never make a criminal referral. 
Jim Jordan might be somebody who actually has some stones to do something with this. And I think I agree with that, right? I've heard McCarthy talk for years and he's really pretty ineffective. So Jim Jordan saying that there may be a changing of the guard. We have Senator Blackburn. She's saying if the FBI can do this to Donald Trump, guess what they can do to you? I think that there are a lot of questions that we justifiably have. And we want answers because if the FBI can do this to President Donald Trump, they can do it to you. And the American people know that. All right. Yeah, no question. And we were talking about that this morning on our uh, walk and talk. You know, is Donald Trump just sitting there, right? The former president, one of the most powerful men ever to have lived, is uh, watching FBI agents, special agents, just rummage through his crap. Just, you know, uh, what's in here? Just throwing around crap all over Mar-a-Lago like you see in the movies. And, and Trump's just sitting there, right? If that's, if that's capable with him, if you can have a corrupt FBI going after the president, you know, what chance do the Whitmer plotters have? What chance do the J6ers have? Right. He's got an entire political network. He's got billions of dollars. He's got infrastructure to defend himself. And the U.S. government just took a giant uh, expense out of him. Right. In, in, the, in the form of liberty from his uh, seizing of his property without any explanation. And they don't have to give an explanation because they run everything right now. Here's Carrie Lake. And she is saying something very interesting that we've talked a lot about. You know, the pendulum swings both ways. It goes from one direction to the other. Right now, the Democrats are in charge, but that's not going to be forever. In fact, not going to be for that much longer in general. We've got, I don't know, what is that? Five months maybe left of this, and then the Republicans will probably be in charge in the House of Representatives. So here's Carrie Lake now wondering, what happens when McCarthy makes good on his promise? What happens when Jim Jordan's in charge, and Matt Gates is in charge, and Lauren Boebert is in charge? Maybe the pendulum swings the other way. Here's Carrie Lake from Arizona who's running for office, and hopefully she wins. Uh, I wish we were uh, talking about something else. It's really sad and, and tragic what has happened to our federal government. Yeah. Going after a, a former president, I suppose this sets a precedent. And, and I wonder if uh, people like Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton yes. should be nervous. Yes. If, uh, if uh, you know, President Trump ever makes it back into the White House. Yes, very good questions there, Miss Lake. A lot of good questions. And Bo Bobert and others, Matt Gates, have already made the indication that they are going full steam ahead when the time comes. In fact, here is Lauren Bobert. You guys, I'm pissed. We are a nation of law and order, and this raid by the FBI on President Trump's home is totally un-American. This is Gestapo crap, and it will not stand. The Department of Injustice needs to be cleaned out if they are going to start pretending we're some sort of banana republic. This is exactly why we conservatives are opposed to the 87,000 new IRS agents Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats want to hire, right after spending $700,000 on ammunition for the IRS. It was Trump today, but you're next if we don't take a stand. Remember, this is about power. Today was a complete show of force. This is about the desire of the deep state to have a total control. And President Trump is standing right in their way. They spied on Trump. They lied about Trump. And I'm calling for a select committee into this political raid of Trump. Make Preserve your, your documents and clear your calendars, Democrats. Preserve your documents and clear your calendar. So the Republicans are going to have their own select committee and they're going to respond and they're going to investigate all of it. And you know what, my friends, they don't even have to have a full committee. It doesn't even matter. They can just pass a resolution and put however many committee members they want on there, put whatever token Democrats they want on there. It doesn't even matter. They can do whatever they want and they can subpoena everybody like Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton, and they can refer it over to their DOJ. When Donald Trump runs the DOJ, then he can prosecute them and the whole country will continue to collapse. All right. So that's that's what the Democrats have started and the Republicans have responded. We'll see if they make good on any of their threats. We'll have to continue to follow that.